one. Hello, this is Ghosh Nathilian, and I am shooting a little quick video for you on how to use blueprints uh, in StarMade. So the, let's get started. This is a cute, cute little ship that I downloaded off StarMade dock. It came as part of another ship. But basically, you enter the ship, and you hit I. And in the catalog, you'll see a couple options. One is save blueprint of entered structure, a little cargo holler dude. And that saved that blueprint onto the server. Now, if you've got something you're working on you really care about, you don't want to just save it on the server because who knows when that server is going to be gone the next day. So you save as multiplayer, save multiplayer as local, and you're going to give that a name like Little Cargo Holler Dude Version One. So I would recommend each milestone in your build that you save multiple versions in case something happens or you want to go back to how it was before. So now it is saved on my local computer. So what do I do with that? Well, if you close StarMade and open up it, open it again, uh, there's one quick thing I want to mention here. A lot of people have problems with memory because the default memory is really low. Go to mem options, memory settings in this launcher here and increase your RAM um, to whatever you can afford. I've got you know, over 20 gigs, so I, 10 gigs is what I gave it, but it's not that necessary. But I don't want to have run into a big ship and or not be able to fight back. So what you do is you hit start. Once you get to the second launcher, there's an option to go into tools and then open ship catalog manager. So here are all of the blueprints you've saved locally to your computer. Um, so little cargo hauler dude V1 right there. Now if you want to share this with a friend, what you do is you click export. It's now saved that file, which is under program file, Steam, or you know whatever you have your your star made installed to. Blueprints exported little cargo hold dot spent. So if you want to upload a blueprint to StarMade Doc, that is how the file you upload, not other files. That is right there, cement. Um, now, if you download a cement file and you put it in any folder, I like to put it right in that folder, uh, the StarMade folder, because when I hit import it finds them right there. So if you click on a ship like this really awesome ship from uh, Nuclear Fun, he makes a beautiful ships, Sleep in Your Light Cruiser, you click on that, click import, and then it goes into your uh, local files. Now, I'm connecting to my server here, which is starmade.prosperecraft.com, 4242, click OK, and that's going to log into the server. Now, once you're logged into the server and you've imported a blueprint, you just click into the server uh, catalog, and you click on Upload to Multiplayer Server, and it'll have all of the blueprints you have in your local catalog. make this bigger. All right, so if you click on iCatalog, upload blueprint to multiplayer server, it, you can drop down, you can see all of the f different blueprints that you have, and you click OK. It uploads to the server, and then you're going to see it on the blueprint. So you click on it. Now, to get a blueprint in your inventory, you have to be near a shop. It doesn't have to be a functional shop. You can just uh, make a shop and stick it in your base, and then you just hit you go to the catalog, you click on the blueprint you want to buy, uh, it puts the blueprint inventory. Now, one really cool thing about the new StarMade is this. You have one storage linked to many, many cargoes. Hello, cargoes. And uh, you see, if you hit C, you can see all those cargoes that are selected up there, and there's more under the floor. And so I have 819k storage for cargo space. Now that means I have all of my stuff in one place. Now the cool thing about this is you click on use, pers use as personal cargo. Now if I open my inventory and click on cargo, select a cargo, use as personal cargo, there we go. So you take the blueprint and you stick that blueprint in there. Now when I hit I and hit cargo, I've got all of my stuff in my inventory I click on the blueprint, this is another one I've been working on, click on info and add all. You've now filled your blueprint with everything in one storage. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's really fast for building ships because you can just fill it really fast and hit spawn and then when you're ready it'll, this spawn light will light up. One of the things I like to do is uh, sort by progress and you can see which ones you haven't filled and uh, you can see which ones you need to make. So. 
if you click on spawn and you click on make sure you click on faction this you gotta be in a faction to spawn a blueprint to have it protected right off the bat um, that's really good um, there's one more thing I wanted to mention on blueprints what was it so yeah that's oh I know what it is if you have a space station to spawn a space station you have to hit M and that's how you uh, start a space station from scratch X obviously starts a ship from scratch so I appreciate you watching and uh, you should be able to work with blueprints now if you have any questions please throw a comment below and I'll answer all my comments personally thanks for